is Raven with Five Star Ortho Lab and Supply, and I wanted to offer you some troubleshooting tips for brackets that won't stay put. So whether you're noticing a new issue across the board where you've got multiple patients coming back in with brackets missing, or if you've just got one patient who's coming in every other week with brackets falling off, this is a good mental process you can go through to figure out where things are going wrong. So the first thing I would encourage you to do is take a look at your products. Uh, I know we don't always make it a habit of checking the expiration date every time we use something, but take a moment to go in your fridge, look at all your products, and make sure nothing is out of date because you might just need to replace one of your products. And while you're doing that, I would encourage you to check out what you're using. You wanna make sure you're using compatible products. So you don't wanna use Reliance for your bonding resin or your primer, for example, and then switch over into using a 3M adhesive or cement. You wanna pick one brand and use all those products across the board. Mixing and matching is never recommended by the manufacturer. And while I can't say that your bracket won't stick at all if you're mixing up your products, you might get a weaker final product if you aren't using things that are compatible. So check that out. And once you're good on all your products, you'll want to look at your actual bonding process. So look at what you're doing. Make sure, are we really keeping this area isolated? Are we really keeping everything dry and free of debris? And you'll also want to check out how long you're curing. You know, are we really hitting that bracket from all surfaces? Am I curing long enough? You can never over cure. So don't be afraid to use that curing light a little more than you even think you need to to make sure everything's really set in place and make sure you're etching for long enough as well follow the manufacturer's instructions you don't want to leave the etch on for too long but you do want to give it time to penetrate the surface of the tooth that way that adhesive can really do its job you also want to ask yourself how much you're manipulating the bracket of course getting the right position is extremely important but some of these adhesives will weaken the more that they're tampered with prior to them being cured so if you're placing the bracket and really moving it around a lot, you might be weakening those bonds that are helping to keep the bracket in place. So ask yourself, am I moving the bracket around a lot or am I finding my spot and kind of sticking it on there and then curing it? And lastly, unfortunately, because this is the furthest out of your control, the issue could just be compliance. So you'll want to take a second and review with your patient what foods are ortho-friendly, what they should be avoiding, and make sure they really understand what a braces-friendly diet looks like. You might have a patient that swears they're sticking to only safe foods, and they really might be. So in that case, I would encourage you to ask the patient if they've got any other habits. Are they a nail biter? Do they nervously chew on the lids of pens when they're thinking really hard? Because sometimes people are sticking to that ortho-friendly diet, but they've got other behaviors that they will mindlessly do throughout the day that could also be moving the bracket out of place. So overall, I would tell you to keep three P's in mind when you're trying to figure out where things are going wrong. You wanna look at your products, you wanna look at your process, and then you wanna evaluate your patient because the issue lies somewhere within one of those three. As always, if you've got any other questions, don't hesitate to give me a phone call or shoot me an email and I'll be here to help you.